The topic is called fast text. Next slide. You can use the clicker. Ah, okay. Great. So we came across the Facebook paper. It was only published, I think, two weeks ago, a few weeks ago. And it's about using bag of tricks, a uh, bag of word tricks to better text classification. So the goal is to speed up the, the training of um, models which are used for sentiment analysis. And uh, they achieve it by hashing. And uh, they're hashing n-grams. So how it looks? So we are creating n-grams for 2 and 3. And we're using... Uh, so we're using prime numbers. So we have uh, for the 2, two gram a prime number, and for the 3 gram we have two prime numbers. And in the paper they didn't really describe how we get those prime numbers, so we just took some, some random large prime number. And so we are applying this prime number to the word index. So every single word that we have uh, found in our text uh, is being uh, allocated an index, which is unique and we're just multiplying it and afterwards we're taking the modular operation and we're obtaining an, an index which we can use in some kind of a, uh, array. So we are fixing, uh, uh, we're fixing our array size to the size of the vocabulary and afterwards uh, we are creating vectors. So we are, uh, we are training a model which is, uh, consistent, which is consisting of, of two layers it's a, it's a simple forward propagation model, and we're using back propagation in order to, to train the weights. But it's, it's not deep learning. So in the project uh, description, you may have seen that uh, we described it as uh, sentiment uh, analysis without deep learning, because we don't apply any deep learning techniques. So we basically just create uh, vectors which, uh, which are similar to one hot vectors, where the one indicates whether the hash was, uh, was activated in this, in this field. And uh, then we train models. So we, we implemented different types of, of vectors. So there's one option where we use basically just one hot vector. And you can see it uh, here. So we concatenate all the input, uh, all the, the words that we have. Uh, we concatenate it to a huge vector. So, uh, considering that we have something like uh, 40,000 words in our dictionary, then every single word would be a 40,000 dimensional input vector, and we just concatenate them together. So, as you can see, it's really slow. So, it's around 530 seconds, and the accuracy also isn't that great. So, then we tried something else where we just average the vectors. So we just end up with one huge vector consisting of, of um, something like 40,000 dimensions. And it's obviously a lot faster and the accuracy is, is even better. And then we tried something else, which is the approach that I just presented to you. It's, uh, we call it context hashes because we, we create the, the two grams and three grams. And we get not that great results, but it's, it's really fast. Actually, it's a bit slower. Uh, and uh, the accuracy is 74%, uh, so the accuracy is, is much higher. Then we tried also a few different approaches where we combine those two techniques and the results are quite similar, although the training uh, time is, is completely different. So we conclude that actually context hashes, the approach uh, presented in the paper is, is quite good and you can use it to train faster models. And if you don't trust us, you can see the, the <laughs> GitHub code. It's, it's completely online. And for questions, we don't have any time. But if you have any, just come to me afterwards. Thank you.